side, on this side here, it's got eight magnets, eight ma magnets on the outer edge. It's got four cylinder injectors up here. These injectors, what they do, they will come in here and they will lock and unlock like a ballpoint pen. That gives the, the downstroke on this. These, these uh, magnets have to be set at a pitch. It took me a long time to get all the uh, dimensions which would, would make it operate. It's got a crankshaft in here. You can extend this like they say. You can see extend the motor out. And you can put as many cylinders around it that you want that you can get on it. Uh, what I'm going to do, there's a 110 light bulb up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook everything to this motor. And um, it will run it all at once. Now this is, this is a 110 generator on the left hand side of this motor. It comes in, produces electricity into this 12 volt battery charger <coughs> down here. The 12 volt battery charger comes back up into the little starter, a little electric starter car motor here. And before I do this, I've got to put a little drop of oil in this because I've got Lumen injectors in it. The other injectors I had, I got it up about 500 RPMs and they exploded. So I had to go back and build them out of aluminum. I'm just doing this for safety, keeping them golden on it.
Yes, it's a miracle. Man. And I'm, I'm glad I'm a part of this whole uh, pollution-free uh, of the world where it can change around and we won't have to have this gasoline to make so much pollution in the air and the ozone. But it's like I said, it's really a unique motor. I just wished I could sit here and run it for you for two or three hours. But like I said, this motor is it's just a prototype. And it's just, uh, it's really going to give me a thrill to see the, the first precision machine made. Thing, um, I'll answer it for you, and if I can't answer it, maybe my son can can give you some fill in on the motor. And um, but uh, just like I said, I really thank for you all to come down here to see this this motor because it's a magnetic motor, and if it had four more cylinders here, four cylinders over here, and it's a precision machine, you'd see something sing like a jet. <laughs> What do you all think about it? It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. This this thing here will produce enough electricity to charge an electric car up, the batteries, and an electric car can drive from here to California nonstop. And you don't have to go to a motel and sleep four hours where your car's charging up, you can just keep on going. You pull into a garage, it will still charge your batteries up 24 hours a day. And the good thing about it is you can hook this to anything in your garage, like if you had a power filter or something like that, you can hook it up, you run some lights in your home. And when it's precision is made, it will run your home. Well, you can, yeah, you can convert this down to a smaller... Well, take an example. Back in 1950, they had a big old TV. The screen was this big. Nowadays, what they got, you can see a TV on your on your wrist. And that's what I like about this. This can be bigger you build it, better it is, smaller it is. You can put it into an electric car and power electric uh, electric car. Is there any more questions that you'd like to? Yes, Tom. What's going to happen when the oil company buys the factory? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. What's going to happen when the oil company buys the factory so we'll never be able to use it? Well, they won't buy this motor because they will have to lease it. I will not see this put on the shelf. 